Hey, where is my money? Shut up and fight back. You asked for it, man, not me. Joe, fight back. What are you doing? Did you not see the nasty combo I pulled off? You ain't doing nothing by me. How about you shut up and fight? You lucky I ain't. What did you just say? Finish speaking. You lucky I ain't backing out the chop. You ain't gonna do shit, buddy. Good riddance. Why can't they just give us the damn money? Forget that. I actually never knew that we were this good at fighting. We just took on four guys with no extra support. I mean, you aren't wrong. Hold on. What if we go to a fight club to earn some quick cash and have fun? Hello? Why do you need money? Huh? Why the hell does Donald Trump need cash? Wait, what are you talking- Shush, Donald. Don't act oblivious, you rich bitch. What are you waffling about what's wrong with having more money? How much are they giving the winner? Huh? I said, how much damn money is the winner getting? 20 million, and if we split it three what ways- What do you mean, each three ways? Isn't it supposed to be two because you ain't getting nothing? Huh? He didn't stutter. Me and Barack will both get 10 million each and you will get zero. I'm glad you agree. Now let's head to the event. You're lucky that I'm agreeing to your stupid terms. Yeah, and if you didn't, I would have shot you on the spot. Isn't it past your bedtime, Biden? I'm hoping you go to a retirement home already. That attitude is what got your wife packed up so I would keep my mouth shut. Damn. Don't worry, I'll have something for you soon enough, you bastard. I'll be waiting then, Donald John Trump. At least my wife is still standing. Hey, Biden, do you want to say what you just said to my face? Don't be scared. Joe Trump isn't making anyone scared. So man up and say what you just said to his face directly. Be quiet, Obama. I know this man isn't telling me to be quiet when he has no females. OK, buddy. Why do you guys always talk about girls? Let's talk about how I'm about to beat Biden this year. Pretty ironic coming from you. Even though the stimulus checks you gave out during the pandemic were really good, I just like woke up one day when Biden was in office and all of like my student loan debt was gone. So I don't know who I should vote. Everyone was eating with my stimulus checks. I know damn well you saw that 3K go into your bank account. Does it really matter at this point? Forget it, get ready to fight. Oh, uh, I will I will wonder who uh, I'm gonna fight today. Are you high? Uh-huh, uh, what? Are you on that Zaza? Why would I be? I mean, you can't even talk normally without stuttering. Do you reach and you're mentioning country? things that have nothing to do with what we are talking about. Whatever you're smoking must be hitting because you are delusional. I mean, Barack, you can't lie. He's always like that. You wouldn't know because he always does this when you're around. Let me think of a time that Joe acted normal. Look over at the horizon and think about what you are imparting to the world. I guess you are right, Obama. I do believe that this man is delusional. What are you two sugar plums yapping on about? Nothing, Joe. Nothing at all. Hey, Obama, heads up. After this match is done, you're going in the ring first because you can't seem to keep your mouth shut. Holy crap, will these hooligans stop screaming before I get angry like, damn, I can't even hear shit, they are giving me headache. And this fight begins with a dangerous right hook, who will get the next hit in O, and they are starting to trade blows. But Purple has the advantage what will happen next, and it seems like we have the presidents of the United States in the crowd. And wow, Purple falls down, but he's not out of the count yet. The hey, you are going up sooner than expected because Purple is beating this guy's ass. Purple is putting his opponent on the back foot. And wow, he finishes off the fight with one of the cleanest knockouts I've seen to this day. All right, Barack, I'll go ahead and pay for you to enter the competition and do good. All right, don't make my money worth nothing, you scoundrel. All right, guys, let's hope that I face someone that's easy. Hey, Obama, is that you, you little bitch? Damn. Hey, do I know you? Why are you talking to me like that? I haven't done anything to you yet. Shut up. Shit. Oh, no, he's really beating fist. up Obama. I know damn well you can't fight, so I will beat your ass right here and now and post you on public television to make people start to laugh at the Democratic Party. Hey, why are you hacking into our system, Biden? And just like that, Barack Obama takes control of the fight. Uh, hold on, I don't know if my phone is working properly as a speaker. Well, anyways. And in a surprising turn of events, Barack uses his intellect and knocks out his opponent by tapping him on the head. This is for the Democratic Party. Never doubt our power, all right? If you do, I want to see you in the ring right now, bro. He's slumped after what I did to him. If anyone wants to fight me, hit my line and we can get something organized. Hey, I think we actually might need a medic. Hey, man, I don't know why you are yapping so much, but thank you for the money, sir. And if I ever see you talking to me again, I will have to shoot you due to self-defense, all right? Calm down, Obama. He will knock you out before you are even able to pull out a gun. I wouldn't mess with him. All right, Joe, Obama. I need you to breathe in and out and relax your body. You will get your ass beat if you aren't relaxed and focused. Don't worry, you are a president. You got this. And if you lose, you have more things to worry about. Why the Watch hell is out, Joe. Mayweather in front of me? And the fight starts off with President Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. dodging Mayweather's attacks. Yep, I'm not doing this shit. 
Am I tripping? I know I'm not high. Stop being a little bitch and fight me like a real man, Joe Biden. I don't think he will be able to keep up with it for long, though, as Floyd is a seasoned veteran. You know what? I may be old, but I can hit hard. Oh, really, old man? Then stop running from me. You know, I'm your damn daddy. So stop being scared. Run my hands, you little scaredy cat. Come on, don't be scared, you thug. I know what you and your people did back then. Come here, buddy. Don't mistake me for Donald Trump, Floyd Mayweather, and what guess did I what? Do? I will grant your request. Come here. In a surprising turn of events, Biden, instead of running, starts to put hands on Floyd. Now, how long this will last? Yeah. Probably not long at all, but it's nice Weak to see punches. some change going on in the fight. <laughs> and Biden, if you don't win, I'll be Everyone the... shut up. I need peace and quiet so I can fully lock in. Trust me, guys. Why are you only aiming for my legs? Yeah. You're playing dirty Biden. You know I would beat you up. Yeah, instead of yapping, Joe you should have turned around so you didn't get knocked people. out to me kicking you directly in the ass. There's no way Biden actually won against Mayweather, not gonna lie. This is kind of making me scared, Barack. I don't even know who's next. Give me my money, you give me my money. I just wanted to take the time to say that thing, loser lost to an 81-year-old man who can't even walk up a flight of stairs. And guys, the 2024 election is soon. And if you want a president that's wise and can protect its people, vote for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. 2024, we will get the job done for sure. Hold on, why is everyone running? I'm not done giving my speech. So what I threw the man, come back, we aren't done here. All right, Trump, you are better than both of us at fighting, so if you lose to the next opponent, then there is actually no hope for you. All right, if I was able to beat Floyd Mayweather at 81 years old, you can beat anyone. Uh, 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 we, uh, okay, okay, man, I got this. Donald, come back, we aren't done talking to you. Tell us how you feel. Well, uh, e, uh, a, e, uh, t, uh, you, yo, you see, I think I am uh, FI55 fighting SS, someone V very says strong, stronger. On the other side, making his way to the ring is Mike Tyson. Give it up for Mike Tyson, guys. Come here, Dunny Dunny. How about you try hitting me for starters before I beat your ass harder than I beat Carl Williams? Uh, what? Uh, 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 you know what? I'll knock your teeth out. You slang and you hit I like don't a toddler. Wait, you run like a toddler. You are a toddler, bitch. Why the hell are you all laughing? Shut up before I call in my boys. The funny thing is, Trump, you're so weak is that it wouldn't matter if you got Joe and Biden to shoot me, always resorting to violence like you always do. How about you run my hands? Oh, wait. You hit like a baby. I don't even feel any of your damn punches if I wanted to. I could take you out in one blow. Why aren't you hitting as hard as Floyd did to Biden then? Because I don't need to exert any strength to beat your old ass. Don't listen to Trump guys, y'all can keep screaming. But anyways, Trump is back on the back foot losing to Mike Tyson, who is using less strength than- Damn! I just wanted to take this time to thank my family and Trump's wife, Melania. Oh, wait, never mind. I forgot well anyways. Today, I beat him up really good. And I wanted to say that this man is- Hey, Trump, are you good? What did he say after I got knocked out? It's not very nice, but I'll say it. He called you a little <laughs> and told you, to <laughs> told you that you ain't got no motion and your wife is And I see he's been posting me online everywhere. You know what time it is? I'm going to assassinate that man. I have no objections, Donald. Do whatever you want. But why did he have to say all of those things to me? I feel like that was him going overboard. Why the hell would he call me that when I ain't even do shit to him? Well, you see, when you fight someone and talk smack like you did by saying you were going to knock his teeth out, he fought back and started bad-mouthing you. I do agree that it was a bit too vulgar, but don't act like you didn't say the same thing 20 years ago. I know what you used to do, you billionaire playboy. To be honest, Barack, I have no absolute idea what the hell you are yapping about, but okay. Trump, but since I won $10 million after this, I will treat you guys to some burgers. Me personally, I'm getting a succulent, medium rare beef patty topped with sharp cheddar cheese, crispy bacon, grilled onions, creamy avocado slices, fresh lettuce, ripe tomato, tangy pickles, and drizzled with garlic aioli, chipotle mayo, and BBQ huh? sauce, all sandwiched between a lightly toasted brioche bun. Yo, Biden, at this point, I don't care. Hey, and tell the cook to make me a succulent Wagyu beef and spicy chorizo patty topped with creamy goat cheese, crispy prosciutto, and grilled pineapple on a fluffy pretzel bun. Sure thing, man. Hey, Mr. President, I'm guessing you are heading to the location I sent you. Just be careful, he will kill you if he figures out your plan. To recap, all right, this won't be a fist fight. So what's going to happen is I'm going to tell the announcer that I want to fight, and I'm going to try. But if I get my ass beat, I'm pulling my gun, and I need you guys to help me beat him up. If all three of us can't beat him, I'll assassinate him. Crazy how you did no damage to Floyd. You really are weak. Like he said, if I'm being honest, it's super funny. Keep talking, Barack. You had the easiest fight of the night and blacked out. Oh, really, did I?
All right, guys, Barack, your unwavering dedication to progress and unity inspired a generation and transformed countless lives. Your legacy of hope continues to resonate with Americans across the country. And Donald, your commitment to America's prosperity and security has left an indelible mark on our nation's history. Your leadership, however controversial, has sparked conversations and stirred passions that cannot be ignored. So let's do this, guys. All right, what the hell is this shitty event? Hey, you in the green shirt, I'm up next to fight Mayweather. It will be our rematch that went viral, and this will help boost your sales. All right, and I want $50 million for being in this fight. You should make a lot more since I'm a president, and I will bring a lot of traction to your place. Sure, whatever, man. All right, Barack, get ready for the plan. I don't know how we will stop that tank, but prepare for the worst. This is about to go viral. On the left corner, we have Mike Tyson, and on the right corner, we have Donald Trump. Let's make this a fair and even rematch for everyone watching around the world. Let's get started. You came back to get beat up again, didn't you? You saw what happened the first time, you really trying to repeat it? Well, unlike the first time I've trained and I know how to beat you and we're gonna settle this once and for all here in this barn. The two opponents let off some words bad-mouthing each other, but they are still standing waiting for the bell to ring for the fight to begin what will happen. Me, Obama, your announcer is right next to the fight getting live coverage, so stay tuned. You know, being the person you are, I thought you would be faster. Go but Obama, with a bit of training, I'm able to dodge all of your attacks. You little weakling, now come here, you little duck. I know you want to punch the daylight out of me. Oh, so we're jumping now. Uh, thank you, Mike Tyson. But unfortunately for you, you are a threat to the nation because you were able to beat me and you almost killed me so. For that, we have to take you out here and now. Even though we are on live television, we are doing the world a favor, all right? So bye. Like that, Donald John Trump beats Mike Tyson by KO using the, oh no, what are you doing, Donald? Hey world, this is the Obama-minator. <laughs>